The World Health Organization is now calling the coronavirus outbreak a global health emergency. This as the number of confirmed cases surpasses 9,000 and the death toll rises to 213. Most of the infections and all of the deaths in China. In the U.S., there are now six confirmed cases. The latest patient is a husband who got sick from his wife who had recently returned from China. This marks the first U.S. person-to-person -person transmission of the virus. The main reason for this declaration is not because of what is happening in China, but because of what is happening in other countries. Our greatest concern is the potential for the virus to spread to countries with weaker health systems and which are ill prepared to deal with it. The U.S. State Department is also now advising against all travel to China. So how does this affect those with upcoming trips planned? Jen Boniza joins us now with that. Jen? A tour agent tells me that they are getting calls from worried travelers wondering about how to handle upcoming trips to China as well as the surrounding countries. I also spoke to a woman who recently returned from a trip to China. She tells me that she's being shunned by people, even family members, and being asked not to come to events. The fear surrounding the novel coronavirus is real. One traveler who recently returned after two weeks in China says she's being treated like a social pariah. She's asked not to be identified. It really surprised me that people are so deadly, cautious, and afraid of even being with us. Earlier today, I did make an appointment or tried to make an appointment with an acupuncturist who said, call me back in two weeks. She says she's chosen to just stay home to avoid making others uncomfortable. The outbreak happened towards the very tail end of our stay there. You know, had I known then what would have happened, of course, I would not go. I sat down with a supervisor at Panda Travel who says China is a really hard sell right now. When it comes to China, how are the airlines um, responding at this point? Well, we just got a memo from United. They're reducing some of their flights, but that's just, I think, because they don't want to fly empty planes. Flights are still allowed in and out of the country. They've canceled a bunch of their flights from the East Coast. They're still operating out of San Francisco and that kind of thing. So there's still daily non-stops to China. Brown says Panda Travel doesn't have any China tours in the next couple of months. But travelers have called with concerns about other countries in Asia. Right now, they are operating business as usual until airlines offer waivers. That's probably the point where people are going to want to jump ship on our tours and we'll have to cancel just to lack of participation. Brown says that even during the SARS outbreak, airlines continue to fly to China. He also says that the majority of the, th the tours that they take are to Japan and Korea. Right now, things are okay in both of those countries. Again, the State Department raising the travel advisory, advisory level to four. That is the highest level and advising people to not travel to China. It was previously at level three. Live from Daniel Keinoa International Airport, Jen Boniza, K2 News, working for Hawaii. Back to you, Joe.